We are about to eat the most very rare halal Vietnamese food in Malaysia. And we are about to eat the most popular Vietnamese food in Vietnam. Super Saigon, the first Vietnamese restaurant obtained halal certificate from Jakin, Malaysia. Served with modern environment based on Greek concept Mykonos and Santorini. Inspired by famous restaurants from Melbourne and Ho Chi Minh to create the original Vietnamese food taste with halal concept in Malaysia. Nama saya Bud, Operation Manager. Saya Aizat, Operation Service. Tell me about this coffee. Butter Cream Latte. First in Saigon, kita ada total 8 outlet sekarang. Hanya ada di Aeon Shah Alam saja. Atas dia ni, cream. Bawah dia ni ada susu. You boleh rasa dia punya butter cream. Then kalau you nak rasa dengan air, you boleh minum pakai straw. Daripada atas, tolak ke bawah. Mm, the cream is so creamy. Super delicious. I love it, I love it, I love it. Kalau nak rasa dia punya rasa sebenar, kena kacau sikit lah. Tolak pakai straw. Even when I mix it, it's still creamy. Super, super good. So yang lagi special pasal kopi ni sebab kita guna Vietnamese coffee base. Wow, so good. Kita punya best seller dekat all the Saigon. Vietnamese punya best seller. Even kat Saigon sendiri pun, kat Vietnam pun, inilah best seller dia. So this is dendam. Wow. It's like latte. Dia lagi creamy lah. Kita punya istimewanya sebab kita creamy sikit. Hmm, it's just like a kind of Starbucks. Boleh dikatakan lah. Yeah. Dia pakai teknik brew. Not sweet, slightly bitter, you feel fresh. Saigon coffee ini more kepada rasa kopi lah. Tapi kita customize it according kita punya culture Malaysia. Dia more to milky, dia ada manis. Pahit kopi itu dia ada lemak. Yang macam ni ice. So kalau ni mesti panas ni yang saya cakap tadi dia brew. Vietnamese style brew. Kopi itu akan drip slowly. So dekat bawah tu dah ada susu pekat semua lah. So cara dia just letak macam ni. Alright. Kita alaskan macam ni. How long it take to drip? Two to five minutes. Something is inside. Creamer, right? Let me try the original coffee, Zep. Ha, ah, boleh. Tapi itu dia ada serbuk-serbuk. Hmm, truly like a Malaysian coffee taste. Macam orang rasa kopi kopi kapal api. But this one is original from Vietnam. So. Nice coffee. Truly Malaysian style coffee combined with the Vietnam style brewing. This one is not too bitter. It's a kind of medium, ah, right? Betul. It hits your throat slowly. Ah, and... yes. All right. I love this one. Super, super creamy. Saya Muhammad Arifin. Customer service Super Saigon ni tambah dynamic pada konsep makanan Malaysia. Follow daripada Melbourne style dan restoran di Ho Chi Minh. Lah. So don't worry, taste of the makanan tu still follow the aslian daripada Vietnam itu sendirilah. Actually, kita punya restoran ni kita halal daripada Central Kitchen dulu. Tu masuk bulan Ogos, semua outlet dah dapat sedia halal lah. From Malaysia, Jakin. How difficult je? Memang agak macam bar lah. Dia involve banyak team macam kita ada juga halal executive. Akan involve dengan training team, operation team untuk memastikan benda ni smooth nak dapatkan sijil tu kan. Super Saigon truly has a halal certificate. There is no doubt about it. How difficult to get halal ingredient that can replicate original test from Vietnam food. Kita ada region yang sama dengan Vietnam daripada Asia Tenggara. So untuk dapatkan ingredient tu memang senang tapi cuma SOP tu more challenging. Like a pearl. The soup make it special. Keunikan daripada fur kita sendiri. Kita punya signature kita sendirilah. Kita punya fur menggunakan 100% dari uh, sea beef and then dan kita punya pun bisa slow cook selama 8 jam dan kita ada ingredient is soups and spice. Kita makan pun di style lain. What is the food that you're going to serve me later? Special beef combination. Kat food tu ada semua jenis daging. Before we get no more about Super Saigon, let's enjoy the full purse. The way to eat pearl is I have to put a lime and some of other side ingredients but I want to try the soup. The soup is make it special. To make this soup, they have to do slow cook boil for 8 hours. Oh my god, guys, the soup tastes really, really different. I feel that a lot of things inside here, the aroma is so aromatic. The flavor is so deep, like beef flavor. Mmm, the noodle itself is very soft. With the soup, you feel the flavor of the soup go deep inside the noodle and tastes so good. Very soft and very gentle noodle. Aussie brisket. Mmm, the beef, it tastes so good. With the soup itself, it emphasizes the flavor. Really, really good. Whatever you eat with this, this soup is so powerful, soft, so delicious. 
Mm. I never tried something like this. This pho is number one. No wonder people like this dish because it's so delicious, guys. Add a lime inside. And this is called plat basil, green sprout. And of course, we will add chili. It makes it more delicious, so yummy. It emphasizes the flavor more. If this is your first time to try Vietnamese food, try purpose. Nothing like this in Malaysia. Pho tu dimakan dengan kita punya special satay sauce. Some orang fikir, oh, kuah kacang. Actually, satay sauce adalah nama dia sendiri. The ingredient memang different. I want to test the sauce like itself. This is not like satay sauce. It's not like a peanut sauce. It's different. Spicy. Tastes like kind of sambal. Oh my god, oh my god, after add the sauce, it become more and more and more and more this Number one, nasi goreng fried rice. Yang spesialnya sebab kita ada letak minyak daging supaya nasi tu dia punya aroma daging lagi kuat berbanding dengan nasi goreng biasa yang kat luar. And then ada lagi satu yang paling terbaru, beef don. Beef don ni nasi, lepas tu yang daging tu kita sutri, kita letak dekat atas. Air-air daging tu semua akan atur dekat nasi tu lah. Nasi tu akan jadi flavorful. Bezanya dengan nasi goreng tu dia goreng. So kalau yang tak nak goreng, boleh try yang beef don tu. Kalau makan to be soft and tender lah. It's time to enjoy a Vietnam style fried rice combined with Malaysian fried style. Aussie beef, which is premium beef. Ada marination juga lah dalam masa 24 jam. They use the own special ingredient. Bismillah. Mm. At the first bite, immediately I taste a very tender beef. And the nasi goreng slightly spicy. And a lot of things going in here. Like the spices, a lot of flavor. A very, very strong beef taste. Incredible. Unbelievable. So delicious. Mm. Oh the beef, oh my god. This is completely different nasi goreng that I have tried out there. So special. You call nasi goreng name is a heart attack. Mm. This is really heart attack nasi goreng. So delicious. It's not boring. You eat it, you keep on to eat it, keep on to eat it, keep on to eat it. Love it. Add a lime, special sauce. Oh my god, the satay sauce is very delicious. We add more flavor, more taste inside nasi goreng. You're not gonna regret it. With the same ingredient, Super Saigon create another menu for those who like less calorie meal without fried rice. Saigon beef don, which is a combination between a marinade Aussie beef, which they marinate for 24 hours with some carrot and onion, and it also comes with a special pearl soup. And inside the soup, they have medium cooked boiled egg, which is specific for those who are diet. This is a very low calorie. You know what I like about Super Saigon is they have a calorie count in the menu, so no worry about calorie because I can see how many calories I eat. Wow. The beef is so powerful. When the beef go in my mouth, it tastes so delicious. Oh my god. So many uh, flavor inside. But the main powerful flavor inside here is, is the Aussie marinade beef. So delicious. Really, really rare and so good. Oh my god. Wow. Even that egg with burst up. Oh my god. Tastes so good. Yang ban mi pula, kira macam snack lah. Yang ban mi tu adalah roti baguette. Roti yang memang pancis yang diletakkan dengan full beef dan beberapa herb. Full beef ni dia macam daging cari. Lah. Merinatkan dengan BBQ sauce. Dia macam serunding. Tapi serunding tu kering. Yang ini dia basah lah. Dan dia sangat lembut lah. Cumanya dia punya inti dia, dia letak rasa-rasa asiam. Authentic Vietnamese tu ada kat dalam tu. Dan roti tu crispy di luar dan lembut di dalam lah. This coffee is so delicious. Fresh paper is a Vietnam style lah. Macam dekat Malaysia, kita ada kopi yang basah, goreng. Ha, macam ni, it's just more to pada Vietnamese style lah. We call that fresh pepper roll, tiger prawn wedges. It's more to pada wedges and ini ada udang lah. Ada sos kita sendiri. Kita terpanggil it's just peanut sauce. I mean the sauce made from peanut. Tapi dia ada, kita punya secret ingredient dia. Lain tempat, lain style. Dekat Vietnam, dia ada sos dia sendiri. Kita create satu sos yang orang cakap balance. The moment that I waiting is finally here to discover the most popular street food in Vietnam. What makes Ban Mi special is they use a full beef. I never hear full beef before. Mm. 
on my bowl. So good guys, the taste is slightly sour and sweet and the bread very crunchy outside and inside is soft bread. What's good? A combination between whole beef, pickle and cucumber plus together with a mayonnaise and a chicken patty make it the perfect combination. It's really delicious. Finally, I can eat one of the most popular Vietnamese street food in Malaysia. Welcome to the hidden Vietnamese food that most people in Malaysia don't know about it. I thought this was plastic. No, this is a rice paper. Here's a mihun inside and salad and brown. You have to eat with the sauce. I think something to describe. This sauce uh, is a new thing for me. I never try this kind of taste sauce. There's peanut at the top, and the sauce also is called peanut sauce, but it tastes different. It's a little bit sour and sweet, and the taste is very unique. I think you should come try by yourself if you want to know how it tastes, because it's hard for me to describe this sauce. Maybe I can say it's savory sauce. In Vietnam, they use a fish sauce, but in Super Saigon, they use their own peanut sauce, which that I told you I cannot describe this sauce. It's very different sauce. If you want to test something different come here and try this nothing that you eat in Malaysia is like this this is a different taste mm, the dessert is very good it's creamy and the ice cream also not really sweet it has a just nice sweet taste in your palate the mango flavor is very powerful flavor very strong I can say deep flavor so this is a new dessert that designed by Super Saigon itself customer give a feedback they have tried to design dessert that made a Malaysian people need kalau nak benda yang different makanan yang different boleh datang ke Super Saigon but yang paling penting halal hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more